In this video, we're going to be using Lindy.ai to help build a customer support agent on our project, EasyFlip.ai. I just want to give you a quick breakdown on how easy this actually is. Lindy AI just made major upgrades to their platform, and we've been using it on and off in our other businesses as well. And one of the main things that I like to do is build a customer support chatbot. Um, it's going to really help just customers get to know your product, get to know a little bit more and feel more interactive when they jump onto your website. So we have our website already built, our landing page, everything's already kind of going with the flow when it comes to building out this project. Uh, and we've been documenting the process every day. Um, easyflip.ai is essentially just a, uh, marketplace where you can take a photo and automatically distribute it. So places like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. So we're using the GPT vision model to be able to access the data in the photo, analyze the photo, create the title, the listing, and then you could distribute it. So that's kind of in the nutshell of what the project we are working on. And I want to build a little customer support agent with the icon right here. So it could really just help people answer more questions about our product rather than going through the entire landing page. The landing page, this is just version 1.0. So we've come very long, a long way in this project and it's been amazing if you've been following along. Um, we are, we have pretty much the MVP built out. Um, you know, upload photos, assign the SKU, generate the listing. Now we're just gonna go ahead and start to work on the production side so we can actually start listing items on our eBay account. But I thought, you know what, let's take time today and build this customer support chatbot with Lindy. And you can already see they have a custom prompt already here for you. I want a chatbot on my website that customers can help answer their questions using a knowledge base. If the agent doesn't know the answer to the question, it should get a task URL, escalate the question via Slack DM, and tell the user that their question has been escalated and ask the best way to get in touch so we're just going to hit enter and let it do its thing lindy has a lot of amazing templates as well but now you can literally just talk what you want and it's going to build it for you so i'll help you create your customer support chatbot to get started at building this agent with the knowledge base integration slack escalation and contact collection features you described you'll need to click the link to go to the flow editor, once you're in the flow editor, I can guide you through the setup components and the knowledge base, Slack DM, and all of that. So let's start building the agent. And it should automatically at least get the components right, and then we're going to need to fill in the details. All right, cool. So after you're in the agent builder flow section, the flow editor, um, it basically just takes you through the steps. So Lindy embed chatbot, knowledge base search, escalation workflow so let me confirm this workflow when a customer messages the chatbot um, it's going to search the knowledge base for the answer send a helpful response to customer if no answer was found this is going to be a condition um, it's going to get the task url and then it's going to escalate and then send us a uh, slack message so that's really cool i do want to create that yes and these tools are just becoming more and more easy for you to build the business that you want to build and automate a lot of the back end stuff because before I was the one in charge of answering all the questions. We also have a another business where, you know, it wasn't very automated until we started plugging in a few of these, you know, automations, whether it's through email auto response or something like a customer service chatbot. Um, really helps kind of answer a lot of those plain questions. So you see it's building it out here. We'll see how long it takes. While it's building that out, I want to go to the project tab in my Claude, and this is based all around the easyflip.ai. It's got a lot of the information, so I'm basically just going to tell it to create me a knowledge base for our website. So I could just drop that in a Google Doc and then use that as our knowledge base for Lindy. I'm building out a customer support chatbot with lindy.ai. I want to be able to have a knowledge base of all of the features that we're building out with easyflip.ai. Can you write up something that would answer common questions for customers? Once that is all put in, we are just going to let it do its thing and go back to Lindy. Oh my goodness, look at this. It looks amazing. So perfect. I've created your customer support chatbot with the workflow you requested. Here's what I've built. So the embed trigger, the knowledge base, condition check. Cool, cool, cool. 
Um, so if it doesn't find the answer in the knowledge base, I'm automatically getting it a message on Slack. The customer will be um, contacted f um, send, saying that we escalated that to customer support team. I cannot configure the Lindy embed step at this time. Please go to the agent workflow and click on the Lindy embed step to configure it manually. This will let you customize the chatbot appearance and set up the embed code for your website. You also need to connect your Slack. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I love it. I love it. So let's connect our Slack first. All right, cool. So I just connected the Slack and then it said we need to do something with the Lindy embed. Configure embed settings. Cool, cool, cool. So the agent will only be embeddable under this domain. So that is easy flip. Easy flip. AI, cool. Display name. That's fine. I just want to keep it really simple. Pop up logo. I guess we could put our logo in there. All right. So I just really simple greeting message. Hey there. I'm happy to. Really simple camera conversation starter. Um, whatever. I'm just going to keep it really simple. Any questions? There we go. Sounds good. Here, add this code. Okay, where we would like to embed that. Okay, cool. Awesome. So it looks good to me. I just want to show you how easy this is to literally get this up and running if you have a website already and you are tired of answering simple questions. So the knowledge base is the next thing. Let's go back to Claude and see what it did. Um, cool, cool, cool. Customer support knowledge base. Claude is amazing. Great stuff here. Um, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that is awesome. We're going to copy that. Just put that in. I think uh, we could do a Google document. So search knowledge base, uh, text, OneDrive website, Google Drive. I'm going to use the Google Drive because I can always just add stuff to it. So let's see. Go to Google Docs, start a new one. Lindy AI Easy Flip. And we're just going to copy paste this in. Saving Google Drive, Bo Johnson One. Just more verification. It asks you. Um, and let's see if we could see it in here should be in here. Uh, there we go. Select and it should automatically sync that in to our knowledge base. So it has some context. Once it is done syncing, you are going to hit save and let's see. All right. Cool. 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 Escalate to team. It should have connected. All right. Cool. We just connected the, the Slack account and it looks like all of this is working. It is crazy. So let's embed this onto our um, onto our website. So we can test this flow just to see if it works before we go and embed anything. So running test, let's see. So it's running a start test here. Cool. Hey there, I'm happy to help. What does your service do? Okay, so when you're testing it out, it just walks you through the workflow, which is really cool if you just want to understand how it works a bit better. So I just simply asked how much is it per month? It's searching the knowledge base. Answer found, met. The knowledge base contains relevant information. Great question. Easyflip.ai offers flexible pricing options. And then it just goes into that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I love it. That's awesome. How will this help me? Also too, as we do the beta testing for our easyflip.ai, this is really gonna be helpful for users that are beta testers to kind of help point out issues and we can respond right away, which is gonna be super helpful so I don't get flooded with emails and just trying to keep track of that. So this is gonna at least help funnel those. Um, if we don't have the answer for it already in the knowledge base, we're gonna be able to directly send a, a Slack message to be able to solve that issue and kind of fix any bugs that come up. All right, next I'm in class code within cursor and I want to be able to make these updates into my uh, website so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna open Claude and then we're going to start session and what this allows Claude to do is just to remember everything we've worked on because every task is tracked in our task manager markdown file, which we created yesterday, which has been super helpful. So we're going to start this session. It's going to remember what we've done and get caught up. And then I'm going to introduce this 
uh, new chatbot onto our website. If you're not using um, kind of this workflow within Claude, I, I highly recommend it if you're having a problem with like hallucinations, errors, and having a hard time tracking tasks within your project. So um, it's gonna be really helpful for you. So um, I can see that you're working on easyflip.ai. Yep, I am. <laughs> Um, the project is currently in phase one. And if you just go to my, um, I just want to show you real quick on why this is useful is you just go to the task manager, um, MD markdown file, and it's just got everything on here. And it's been able to create this basically because we gave it a product requirements document when we first started this project and kind of redid a, a few things, but adding this PRD document and then having it initialize and create, um, you know, the necessary agents according to the project you're building and also create a good quality Claude.md file as well. So that's kind of how we started. I just asked Claude to make a task manager and MD file so we can keep track. Also, this can help with working with different sub agents when you're just trying to tackle one task at a time. Um, so very cool. So it remembers us. It remembers us. And uh, it says your next priorities appear to be completing the listing creation workflow, building preview functionality and implementing published system for eBay listings. What would you like to work on today? Yes, that is the next step. But what I would really like to work on is I just built a chat bot customer support agent within lindy.ai and here is the embed code i thought we could put this on the landing page to help answer any customer questions and there's the script see what it does go from there and i just been using the lindy 49 dollar a month plan and that has been plenty but you can get away with doing a simple setup like this on the free plan you will be limited to uh, credits. So if you do get a lot of customer support queries, you're going to eat through those credits quite quickly. But if you're just starting out, get the free plan and play around with it. There's uh, over a hundred different templates and workflows that you could do. So um, yeah, this was really easy. You saw it was literally less than 10 minutes to set up and I've just given it to um, Claude and it says I've successfully added the Lindy AI chatbot to your landing page. All right, I just pushed and committed the changes to Git so it can uh, be on the production side because I don't think it's going to work quite right on the develop mint side so let's see it just finished so let's go to incognito easyflip.ai and i don't see it oh there it is there it is oh my goodness that's awesome cool it kind of blends in but that's that's okay uh let's see how it all works here um how can this make me a better reseller all right, this is really cool. It took about 15, 20 seconds to come up with a question or with the answer to the question, but it was very detailed. I just asked, how can this make me a better reseller? So easyflip.ai can make you a significantly better reseller in several key ways. Efficiently in scale, goes over maximizing your profits, professional growth, time-saving features. Um, so that's really cool. And I highly recommend if you are starting out um, just like I am and you really don't know kind of what things you should be adding into your web page, um, landing page, this is just one simple workflow automation within Lindy. There is thousands of templates that you can go through and see what works for your business. But I just wanted to show you how easy this actually is. I'll put a link somewhere down below. You can give Lindy a try for free and comment down below. Where are you at in your startup process? What are you working on? We're going to be releasing videos every single day. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Be blessed.